In this video, we're going to take a look at some challenging exponential problems that give you a little bit more thinking. Uh, so what I'd like you to do is write down these problems and then go ahead and solve them and replay the video. So right now you should be um, copying down these questions. You can push pause on the video and then come back and you can skip forward to the part where the solutions are or you can just come back for the answers. I'm going to put the answers slide up here in just a second. So please make sure that you have paused the video before I go on here. So here come the answers. And you can pause the video now on these an this answer page if you want to check those. Now I'm going to go through and work them out so you can actually see how we got these. I'm going to move kind of quickly because I expect you to know a little bit about these properties. So right here, this is to the fifth power. So I'm going to give this fifth power to everything that's in the parentheses. So that's 2 to the fifth, m to the fifth, n to the fifth, all over 6m to the second n. So as I'm working through this, then I can simplify the number port parts and do the reducing. 2 to the fifth is 32, m to the fifth, n to the fifth, all over 6m to the second n. So now I've got this cleaned up and this cleaned up, and now I'm ready to do some vertical reducing. So 32 divides by 2, so does 6. These both are divisible by 2. So I get 16 over 3. And then these, I've got m to the 5th and m to the 2nd. This has 3 more up top, so I'm going to put 3 more up top. This has 4 more up top, so it's n to the 4th. So here is the answer to the first problem, and that is how you get it. Second question, r squared s over all this. Give this second power to all of these by multiplication, because that's the power to the power property. So up top, I've got r squared s. On the bottom, I've got r to the negative 4, s to the 6th, and then t to the 4. Now, anytime I see a negative exponent, I want to move it. I want to flip it up top. Negative exponents flip. So I'm going to take this from the denominator and move it up top to the numerator. I'm going to do that right now because that's where that's going to end up is up here. So then by taking that move, I've got r to the 4th, r to the 2nd, s, all over s to the 6th, t to the 4th. r to the 4th and r to the 2nd make r to the 6th. And then that combines those two, and then here is 1s and 6s, so I have five more s's in the bottom, and then a t to the fourth. And there is the answer, and that's how you get it. Next question, uh, I've got a fraction times um, this term. Well, this term really can just be over 1. Then I can multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. So then now I've got 4a to the third, b to the fourth, over b. And that would be my final answer there. Um, until I do my reducing. So I've got a B situation where I've got B to the fourth over B and those can cancel. So then that's like having B to the first power. So there's three of them left over. So 4, A to the third, B to the third would be the final solution. Next, uh, that's a negative three. So then if I take negative exponents and understand that negative exponents flip, I would take this whole thing and move it down to the bottom. This is a negative exponent here. This is going to go up top. Uh, so cleaning up those negative exponents is something you're going to want to do. So a to the third is going to be up top. On the bottom, this b to the fourth is going to stay down there. That's still there. Then we've also got this a to the second b, which was to the first power, so I don't need to write it, and I can just leave it this way. Now I want to combine things. So now I've got a to the third on top over a to the second b to the fifth, and then I've got three up top and two down low, so two of them cancel, so I end up with a over b to the fifth, and that's the final answer there with that a over uh, b to the fifth. Okay, next, let's get into some fractional exponents. If I have fractional exponents, oftentimes you're just asked to rewrite them. When you rewrite them, remember that the top part of the fraction is the power, the bottom part is the root. It's the power and the root. So it'd be 64 to the second power, take the third root. And you could punch that in your calculator if you're asked to evaluate, then you actually get the answer. This one here is a negative exponent, so that flips everything that it's taking the exponent of. So that would be that flipped, and now we have the 4 fifths power. So 1 over that does the flipping, takes care of the negative, and now I've got the power and the root. So here is my power, fourth, and here is my root, fifth. So if you're asked to rewrite it, this is what the answer would look like. Next question is using what is called the one-to-one -one property. On the one-to-one -one property, these numbers need to be the same. The, the base of the exponents are the same. Then we have a one-to-one -one match, and we can call the exponents equal. So 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. But then that's also squared. So I'm going to bring that squared power down here. And then I've got 3 to the 5x here. Well, then if, if I now have a one-to-one -one match, which is great, then I can just simply say 5x equals 2 times 2, which is 4. Divide both sides by 5. 
and x equals 4 fifths or 0.8 either way. And then the last one, 8 to the x equals 4. Well, neither of these can be powers of each other. The bigger one is the, typically the one we change, but that has to be a power of 2 to the x, and this has to be a power of 2. Now they're both the same, because neither of these could be powers of each other. So now I end up with 3, to the, three times x, because I multiply, equals 2. Divide both sides by 3, and I end up with uh, x equaling 2 thirds. So now you have, uh, my original answer key, I had 4 thirds. That was wrong. It is 2 thirds. So here are the answers uh, going back to do these. So this is all about solving those complex uh, exponential functions using the laws of exponents, whether you have fractional powers or negatives.